Okay, I'm going to show you how to uh, set up your um, dipping board or drying board. I just get this is a, a sheet uh, that you get at Lowe's or Home Depot. It's uh, 12 inches wide by 48 inches. Now uh, you're going to get uh, these nylon bushings. You're going to get 24 of these uh, in your uh, kit. Uh, these are going to go in here. I'm going to show you how to mark these up. You want to set one here at the draw some center lines. Uh, one at two and a quarter from the side, one at six, and then one at nine and three quarters. Just going to show you the end of this here. So I'm again. I'm just going to draw some guide marks here. This will give it space out enough so you can either dip a, a two and five eighths or a three and a quarter. And again, from the end, I'm gonna come in. My first one's gonna be four inches, and then I'm gonna space them five and a half inches out, different ones. And my second one here on this side here is gonna be six inches, and then again the five and a half. Same thing over here. This will give again the proper spacing that you need. Again, I'm just gonna set up the first six. Now you can use a couple things, and I, I prefer to use an epoxy, a two-part epoxy. It dries a lot of it, a lot harder. Um, but you can also you mix that, and I've already got some of that pre-mixed. Or you can use F26. Uh, some states you cannot get that. Uh, I know here in Arkansas you can, Mississippi you can't. Uh, but again, F26. Make sure you put a good dab on this, though. You don't want to make sure that these don't pop off. Um, again, I've already got my epoxy. Uh, set so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dab right here this is going to adhere it to the, the board your drying time on this type of epoxy is about five minutes so you have a little bit of working time and again uh, sometimes these may pop off but again you'll just need to you know just re uh, you know set them up Again, I'm just going to set them in here. Uh, these will go straight up. And let that dry probably a few hours really before you use it. Now, again, as I've uh, showed you before, these you're going to use uh, the 3 8 dowel rod. Again, you can get those. I just cut them at 8 inches length, and these will go in here. Um, also, you also need to use the Vaseline to put on the tips at the bottom of these that go in. This will keep uh, the ink aid and then also your uh, Minwax, your polyurethane from drying and sticking your uh, wood and your nylon, you know, together. You know, when you if you if you don't, it may get attached and you'll ha and it'll have to a uh, little bit be a little bit harder to unscrew to come off. Again. You do this line here in the center, and then I approximately space these out. These are about four inches, I think, four inches out from each side. And it gives you plenty of distance, and you can get 24 to 27 on one board, depending on how, when you start. But here, this is set up to get 24, which you have enough, inf uh, enough stuff to get it included in your pack. I'm going to show you now how to set up your dipping station. Now, in your uh, kit, when you purchase this, you you got uh, one uh, top mount. This is where you put in uh, your uh, bulbs to let them drip after you've dipped them. This is 24 inches long. Now, this is uh, the PVC uh, trim that you can get at again Lowe's and depots. I'm going to show you the the, uh, the profile on that. I've got this so that way this is angled at the top. Again, I just cut it off to length. And again, I use the epoxy to uh, put on the nylon bushings on top of here. And then also, this is just normal guttering. Uh, that I've, Again, it comes like a 10-foot length. I think I, I cut them in 24-inch, so I'm able to set up. Now, I'm, show, I'm giving you this set up here. Um, but you can go and set up your own uh, system. Uh, I've got one of my other shop. You know, I've got two pieces that are uh, 36 inches long. I can do more. Uh, you know, ornaments dipped at one time, but again, this is a very good, uh, simple, and uh, compact uh, setup.
I'm going to apply the, um, all you have to do is just screw on the tops. This just goes, mounts to the very top. You can do that uh, straight across. Again, we're just going to here and then on on your gutter once you have it set at an angle down because again what you want is when you're um, when it runs off that way it goes you know downhill and then um, you'll put a uh, like a, a Tupperware or something a clear that will catch uh, your uh, either your ink aid or your polyurethane again if you uh, you may want to set you up another system, one for the ink aid, one for the polyurethane. Um, if you buy the pre-dipped ornaments from myself, uh, you'll only need the polyurethane you know, to dip when, when you're finished. I'll take care of the ink aid part of that. I'll set it up here. Okay, and there you have it. Now also, um, this can be mounted on the wall or you can put some type of leg system where this stands up. Again, you're going to be putting in um, your, uh, your ornaments uh, right here. So again, you're just going to have to uh, make sure it doesn't tip over. Again, you know, kind of clamp that or put that on. Also another little trick you may want to do is go ahead and pull this out a little bit here. Uh, put a shim so that way because all your uh, liquid is going to run to the very end so that way when you put your clear tub underneath of it it's going to it's going to go into here so again that's just something a little you have to figure out again you can make these as long or as many as you want uh, depending on how many ornaments you do okay, after you print the ornaments um, you need to coat it with a clear uh, finish you can either uh, spray it, which some people use. You can use Menwax, uh, semi-gloss is what I would do if you spray here. Or I prefer the dipping method. Again, I'm using the Menwax, uh, semi-gloss or gloss, um, polyurethane. Now I put it, this is a two, two and a half gallon. And I get usually uh, one or two gallons. Uh, you can get one gallon at a time. Pour it in here. So this gives you different uh, enough room in this two and a half gallon jug. Now again, here's my three and eights dowel rods they're eight inches um, I put some of the putty at the very end this allows the ornament to stick onto it uh, and also I have my setup right here uh, this is a, a just a gutter trough that I've gotten at Home Depot cut it to 24 inches again this is some trim this is going to come in your package uh, everything but this backboard I've just got like a, a 2 by 4 uh, excuse me 12 inches by 48 inches of uh, just a board, cut it in half so this is 24 inches long. This can set up, I can have uh, six uh, stations here to dip and that's what I've got the bulbs here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just pull it off here and again I'm going to put the dial rod in here. And again also what I would recommend, uh, we coat the bottom of the dial rods with uh, Vaseline. It helps slides in. This is really, it's, a, it's kind of a snug fit. But again let me show you again, we just have it here usually I'll put a pair of gloves on we're going to dip it into the polyurethane and let it drip I'm just kind of letting this uh, drip off to the side this is going to catch all of our axis again I'm going to kind of spin it and I'm going to put it right here and again what this trough will allow you to do uh, you can recapture because uh, again especially the ink aid and this polyurethane you can recapture it all especially if you're doing a lot uh, so that way it doesn't cost as much. Can get my sticks, put it in here. So again, this goes really quick. Again, this I prefer to let it dry overnight uh, when I do it. You know, 12 hours or so uh, before I box them up. Uh, the spray will dry a little bit quicker. 
Now, if you're doing your own ornaments, it's, it's, it's especially if you buy your own ornaments at Hobby Lobby, uh, Christmas book crabs, you'll do the same process in your in your uh, pre-treatment as well. You'll put the polyurethane on first, let it dry for a couple of hours, and then put on the ink aid. And I use the same system to do both of, of the pre-preps. Um, again, I would have different trough for the ink aid and then a different trough for the polyurethane. Uh, just so that way, um, because again, um, this is going to get a little bit contaminated, all of it's going to run down. I've got a little drip pan here that's going to go into, it's going to go to the inside. Um, need to watch out for bubbles uh, in here as well. Most of them will they'll, they'll kind of roll off from that. So again, you can see this is very uh, easy, it's clean, uh, it's not really messy. You'll get a little bit of fumes here, so you always need to use this in a well ventilated area. And this is going to drip straight down so again you won't get any here at the base. And the big ones as well. Now I, I position these about, uh, you'll get uh, some of these to do your own big board uh, to let them drip, to drip onto your finished product which you'll see also in a video. Just let them drip here for long enough time so that way I won't get my board it won't run off but again you won't have a whole lot of extra out here so again spin it set it on here again as you can see this is all dripping straight down usually by the time um, you'll get 12 of these done it will um, be time to take them off and you can set them again we're getting all the access now again I let it drip as much in here as possible and then you put it right here. So again, this is very uh, a, a good, quick, and easy way. Uh, if you want to do it spraying, if you want to spray, you still use these sticks because again, you're going to use a mounting board um, that you'll have instructions similar to this right here. Again, we're going to put all of these on here. Um, when these get through dripping. Basically, it's dripped, so I'm going to take my very end one here, and then I'll put them here for the finish. Again, I use some Vaseline, so that way the Vaseline uh, will help uh, lubricate this down here, and that way the uh, when it dries, because again, this is using a polyurethane finish, and it'll dry rock hard, so you don't want to make sure that you don't mess up anything down here. 